Here we are at the all-night uh, flea market in Wheaton, Illinois, and I have the amazing actor Felix Silla, who uh, from the Adams family and Buck uh, Rogers, Buck Rogers, many other uh, uh, shows. How did you get uh, into uh, acting, if I might ask? Well, um, I traveled with the circus for a while. Yeah, Ringling years. Brothers, Barnum Bailey, right, right? For about seven years. In 1962, we did, we were playing at the Los Angeles Sports Arena in California. Mm -hmm. And I said to myself, I had enough. I, you know, I was traveling back and forth for seven years. I said, I just had enough. I don't, I want to quit. And I want, I want to stay in California. So I went to work for a company that they do. Pub they used to do publicity for the circus when they came to town. So I was there answering the phone and doing publicity here and there for the Pacific Ocean Park. And one day a gentleman came from MGM studio and he said to me, you know, Felix, they're looking for little people down at MGM, they're doing a movie. They're looking for little people to double a little boy. So at that time I didn't have a car. Uh, I just moved there and, and so I said, why don't you go down there? But you know, you never know. So a friend of mine had drove me to MGM studio and they looked at me and I was the same exact size of the little kid that I, uh, they chose me to double it to do some stunts. And the movie was called A Tickle Chauffeur with uh, Shirley Jones, Karen Jones, Gig Young, uh, Red Buttons, Ed Buchanan. So I, they, they used to hang me on a the, on the, on the crate, 110 feet off the ground oh, every wow. day, five days a week. They put a makeup on me to look like a little boy. And the, the thing was that uh, Gig Young was in the Navy and he tried to teach the kid this, this said to him, the little boy said, you know, this is the way we're going to go to the moon someday. So they put in a bunch of balloons with a helium, with a harness. And so uh, there I was flying on a, on a crane, 110 feet off the ground. So uh, one, one day we were filming on a, a beautiful golf course. And uh, I'm up there and all of a sudden I look down and everybody's moving away from the camera. <laughs> and uh, I say, hey guys, uh, what's, what's going on? Where are you guys going? Oh, we're going to lunch. I said, what? We're going to lunch. I said, what about me? Oh, I'm sorry, we forgot all about you. Yeah. They got me down, so I went to lunch. Now, that was my first movie. Then, uh, the Planet of the Apes came, the, with Charlton Aston, mm -hmm. the very, very first. And that's how everything got started, in the Adams family, and it took a little while to really get some good jobs, but I had a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. The movie industry was mm -hmm. good to me, and Matter of fact, you know, they pay good pension, and here I am in uh, Illinois to do a over all night flea market signing autographs with the, some of my friends from the Adams family. And, uh, so I know you have some questions. I know you're going to ask me. Oh yeah, I have to ask, okay. and I'm sure you've been asked it before. But what was your favorite role that you've done? My favorite role was called a movie called. Uh, the, it was a remake of the Maltese Falcon. Wow. With, you know, remember Humphrey mm -hmm. Bogart. Oh, yeah. Falcon. So they did a remake with George Siegel. It was called The Blackbird. Right. So George Siegel played Sam Spade. And uh, I played the part of Sidney, uh, Sidney, what was his name? I can never remember his last name. The guy was looking for the, for the, for the Falcon. Right. Because the Falcon was loaded, stuffed with diamonds. Mm -hmm. So I played the German, they, they uh, shaved my head, they make a ju beautiful German uniform, uh, riding boots, you know, and uh, I played the part. So and it was a, a comedy, there was a lot of dialogue, but it really, really didn't do much for me because they released as a, together with a, uh, an X-ray film. So really? and that was a really great part. I mean, I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun filming and doing it. Uh, George Siegel was a great guy, but I just didn't do anything for me. Because they, you know, they, they released together with some X rated, that, uh, that's it. I mean, huh. you know, it was a really, really nice. Very I had strange. a lot of dialogues, it was wonderful, yeah. Uh, well, on that note, I have to ask you, is there any dream role that you've never played that you would really love to? Actually, I'd love to do a Western with Sophia Lauren, but and now we're both too old that nobody wants to invest the money. We don't find any producer to, to do a film board. I love Sophia Horror. 
Do you have a film that you've got in mind? Uh, a script? I that, I, I, a western, I wanted to work. Just but a western? Just a western, yeah, just to be with her. So, uh, well, in this western uh, that you want to be in with Sophia Loren, what character would you play? I'll play like uh, Clark Lando did Clark Cable that he played in uh, Gone with the Wind, you know, lover or whatever it was. Awesome. But I wasn't in an episode of Bonanza. I did an episode of Bonanza mm -hmm. called The Horse, Horse and the Leprechauns. Right, right. And it comes on every year around St. Patrick. It's a funny, funny episode. It's all about the six little guys, the leprechauns. Mm -hmm. We got stuck in the Ponderosa. And uh, I, I don't know if you've seen it. If you see that, you left. It's, so it's been years, but yeah, I've seen it. Every year it comes on. You never miss. Every year. So. Very cool. So, uh, do you have an... In uh, I like to close my interviews by offering the interviewee the opportunity of telling something weird and wonderful about themselves. Got any interesting uh, anecdotes that your fans might not already know? You know what? Uh, I do a lot of these conventions. Mm -hmm. I do tra a lot of traveling. I go in Europe. Right. I go all over the place. I go to Japan and England or whatever. Uh, they never see. They never see me out of the you know out of costume. I would say ninety percent of the film that I've done or movies mm -hmm. or TV shows, there was always something a costume or another. Um, and when you come to a place like this, the people that look at you say, like, oh my God, is that really you? You know, did you do all this? They look at my table. Uh, I say, yeah, what do you think I'm doing? Yeah. What I'm doing, you're warming up the chair? And goes, yeah, it was me, right? Right. You know, I did all this. And uh, sometimes I tell them, say, yeah, I only did this in three weeks, three weeks time. Uh -huh. uh, but I had, you know what, I did have, I had a lot of fun with the movie industry. I gave it up around 19, uh, it was in 1995. I just didn't have it. It wasn't much going on anymore. So I took my pension. I retired. They give it up. And I'm doing a lot of traveling. Uh, the union has been really good to me. It's, you know, they give you pretty, pretty decent pension. And that's what I live on. And uh, I have a wife and three kids. I have five granddaughters. I'm very happy. And uh, I'm very happy to be around, around my family. Because if it wasn't for the fan, I want to be here now. Absolutely. About. Absolutely. And uh, you mentioned different roles you played. Uh, short Round, wasn't it? You oh. were stunt double for Short Round yes. in Indiana Jones? Yes, I doubled for Short Round for six months. I did everything on a film. I even I even got stuck under a raft. I was drowned. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Up, we were up in the, near, <clears throat> near Sacramento on the Tuolumne River. We, uh, the raft flipped over and I got stuck underneath. And I don't swim. Really? No, I don't even swim from here to the camera. A <laughs> foot and a half. I don't even swim that much. And I got stuck under the raft. Wow. So, uh, uh, we were in California filming the second unit because uh, uh, Harrison Ford got hurt. He hurt his back. Mm -hmm. So we were doing all the second unit. And I got stuck under the raft and Steven Spielberg he found out, he heard that I got stuck on a raft, and he called right away, because he was in England. We, see, we, we shot almost everything in England. So he called the California, he said, hey, I don't need Felix to, no more work, I don't want him in the water anymore, because I need him to finish the film. So, you know, it was a really, uh, I mean, I had like, for six months after that, I had like dreams and almost every night. Really oh, I weird. Imagine. Oh, my God, that was terrible. And I'm, I'm not a swimmer. So, it, you know, I was lucky because they uh, they gave me this live vest, the Bay West, I call it. Mm -hmm. And the guy said to me, <clears throat> if anything happened, just pull the string and don't panic. And I'm under there, and, you know, I see something yellow on my head on top of, my, on top of me, right. the bottom of the raft. And I see something, nice fresh water, and, and I couldn't figure out what to do. You know, I said, should I let it loose or hang on? So I just threw there and hung on a rope, whatever, and I kept pulling and pulling. Find the thing inflated, the guy, he got me out of the water, and that's it. But I had some really, really terrible uh, oh. nightmare about six months after that. I can every, imagine. every night, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, uh, Felix, do you have a website or Facebook? Uh, uh, how would people find more about you? They could find me on uh, felixsilla.com, <clears throat> and they could go to my email address. 
<coughs> excuse me, is tweaky1 at cox.net. And also I'm on Facebook. And what are you on Facebook? Just Felix Sia? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Mr. C Silla. And uh, uh, do you have anything else you'd like You're to You're welcome, and uh, I'm really enjoying to see all this crowd in here. I'm sweating, and, but it's, it's a lot of fun, you know. I really, Absolutely. Like and Jimmy been after me for a year to do this, and I kept saying, no, I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it. Finally, I came and said, okay, I'll do it. And here I am, and uh, thank you to Mr. Zirko for let me, you know, for inviting me, and... Uh, and we have a lot of fun. I hope three o'clock comes really quick because I'm, <laughs> I, I, I need a cup of coffee so bad. <laughs> oh no! I don't even know where the cup of coffee. Anyway, thank you so much. For, thank uh, you. It's a pleasure. And pleasure. from the all night flea market in Wheaton, Illinois, this has been the Weird Reviews News Show, and Felix Silla. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you.